Hey everyone, my name is Catherine and welcome to my channel and I am basically turning 27 next week which is very wild and crazy to say that and I wanted to do a video talking about 27 things that I have learned before turning 27 or as I turn 27. Number 15, creating healthy habits are so important, such as exercise, sleep, healthy eating, all of that. So keep a consistent routine. Obviously, you can change it up here and there, but try to get those eight hours of sleep. Try to work out, you know, don't be too crazy because you want to make it sustainable. Maybe make it two times a week or something like that, three times. So, you know, working out six days a week probably is not the most sustainable, especially if you haven't been working out at all or very little. So doing that and like adding a few more veggies and fruits into your diet, obviously we all know this, but just kind of as a reminder that that's all very important to do. Number 16 is reach out to loved ones and maintain a relationship with them because relationships ultimately fill us most in life. I feel like it's really easy to get caught up in school and career stuff and focusing on all the things that we have to do. And especially with now with COVID and maybe dealing with long distance friendships or family, it's really easy to lose touch with them. So this is a reminder to reach out to family and friends because I'm sure they want to talk to you and they're just maybe doing the same thing, getting caught up in life. And it's important that we keep our relationships strong and flourishing and active. So this is just a reminder to keep in touch consistently with those close to you in your life. Number 17, use your 20s and earlier in life to try everything and see what sticks and what you enjoy. I feel like we put our, this pressure on ourselves to when we're 18, choose a major and stick with it forever. But this isn't the 1950s or like decades ago, you know, where you get a job and you work in that job until you retire. Like things are changing so fast right now in this information era. And in 10 years, there's going to be jobs open that are very prominent and needed in society that don't exist today. So I feel like it's just really important to use these, this time to really try what you want, try everything because you're not going to know without trying, you know, whether it's internships or classes or like shadowing people, try anything and everything that interests you and just see what you like. And, That way you're not going to be older, like thinking, what if I try this? What if I try that? You know, living life with regret, we don't want that. So really, when you're younger and really any age, but I'm emphasizing now, especially because I'm in my 20s, so it's relevant to me to just try anything and everything that sounds interesting to you. Number 18, education is so important. Now, I know the traditional way of four years of college or whatever it may be may not work for everybody, and that's fine. I feel like we have an outdated you know college system in the u.s that needs working and all of this but that's a whole nother topic but i feel like continuously learning and growing your mind and just you know pursuing things that are interesting to you pursuing whether it's technical school or online classes or just learning on your own on the side whether it's youtube and googling things i think just learning and education is so important and that we should always be growing ourselves. Number 19, find activities that bring you happiness and pursue them, such as, you know, hobbies and whatnot. So, like I said, we can get caught up in work and school and stuff, but I think it's also important to have hobbies because we don't want to be caught up in just what we're working on and doing for our career. We want to have actual hobbies. So, if you don't have any, try and see what you like, whether it's like arts and crafts, or learning a new instrument, learning a new language, getting into working out. Like there's so many different things you can do, especially now because we're spending more time at home and with ourselves to just see what we like to do. Okay, number 20, being vulnerable allows you to develop closer relationships and allow you to grow as a person. Being vulnerable is scary, like everyone knows that, But a lot of the times when you're your true, honest, vulnerable self to people, and you don't have to be with everyone out there, just like your close family and friends, that allows you to better your relationships with them, to feel closer to them, and just having things out and open 
just will feel better in the end and those that support you will stick around and i know it's there's so many different layers to that and there's so many things that can be said and i could even take this advice better myself like classic giving advice but not taking it yourself so i'm still working on this but i know it's true and it's something i'm working on and that i've learned so i added it to the list number 21 it truly is about the little things. Find things that you enjoy, such as baths, reading, lighting a candle, going on walks with your dog, and do them often. There's this thing called hike, heek? I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's prominent in Danish and other Scandinavian cultures that's gotten a lot of awareness lately, and it's just about how the little things really aren't the little things because they're actually, they actually play a big part in our life. Like, what are those things that just our daily or almost daily that happen that are minimal that bring you so much joy like for me it's what i just listed candles baths going on walks with my dog i love driving just to nowhere like it's therapeutic to me going and getting like boba tea out in my favorite boba store um that as well that brings me so much joy so just find those things and do them often number 22 do not let the opinions of others control you because not everybody is going to like you or have the best intentions for you. I think that one's pretty straightforward. Number 23, those who hurt, hurt others. This one I've learned in the past couple of years and I find it to be so true. A lot of the times, the bullies in our lives or the people that are just out there being mean to everyone is the, usually the person that's hurting the most and we just don't know because they're not showing obviously you know what's hurting them what's going on in their life and it's so easy to just take it yourself like for example if you're at the grocery store and someone just lashes out at you because your cart hit their cart because you were watch looking at the shelf and they just like throw a tantrum out of nowhere that can easily just you know make me really upset like i'm really sensitive i'm a pisces and <laughs> that that could really upset me but a lot of times it's really that person is going through a lot and they're just hostile because they're just dealing with a lot in their life and they're projecting it onto me a stranger and you need to remember that it's not your fault it's their fault and they're just projecting their issues onto you and it's not a personal attack towards you so Number 24, your major in college does not determine the rest of your life and it's okay to not finish college in four years um, or transfer or whatever it may be. I had this thing in college where when I, I was kind of wanting to transfer in undergrad but I didn't let myself do it because I would have viewed myself as a failure. For some reason in my head I was like I need to do it by the book, I can't transfer, I have to stick it out, all of this and as I got older, I learned that everyone's on their own path and it's all okay. I finished in four and a half years and that's perfectly normal. Number 25, stop putting so much pressure on yourself and letting others pressure control you. Also very straightforward, 26, network, network, network. It truly is about who you know and I know networking can be scary, especially on the job hunt, but I'm learning like throwing your application out into the abyss to like 200 places isn't going to get you super far almost all jobs is found through connections. And if you don't have any, just look on LinkedIn, you will be surprised. Like really look out to see what you may have because you might not even notice it. And don't be afraid to message someone because what's the worst that can happen? Like they don't respond, so what? And lastly, number 27, don't take life so seriously. We are meant to enjoy life. Hustle culture can be toxic. Put your well-being first and just enjoy life. I feel like it is so easy to just have societal pressures, having like needing to get certain things done, whether it's engaged, married, having a full-time job, kids, whatever it may be by a certain age. But truly, I know it's easier said than done, but just enjoy life and don't take it so seriously. I need to learn from this definitely as well. And that's pretty much what I have to say to that. I think that's a good last note to use. And I am I try to not make this super lengthy, but it's really hard when there's 27 things and I wanna elaborate on all of them. But that has been what I've learned in the past 27 years. And I hope you take away something from this, maybe learn something or just was reminded about something. Let me know what you've learned or what you resonate with, any of your comments questions. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye!